why automated testing is really important. The problem with manual testing is it takes a lot of time. And if you make a small change and it changes a lot of places, you don't want to go through and manually check all that, all the happy path, the boundary conditions. So tonight we're going to do Cypress and Cucumber. We have on our current client's project, it's like 1,000 tests Andrew, I think, and that takes a few minutes to run. And to do that manually would take a lot of people a lot of hours to do. Someone doing that is prone to error. You know, you can't guarantee you're going to do the same test exactly the same time every day, every week you've done over the last year or so. And also regression. I think it's really important that when you make a change in one area that your CI runs the entire suite. So locally you might only run that module or that area, but at least your CI is going to run the entire suite, which I think is really important. So as I mentioned, the kind of the flip side, we've got faster feedback. It'd be really, it's really important to get those hundreds of tests, get feedback as fast as possible. You have one test that needs to test the login. You're going to test can you log in successfully? Can you test that you log in unsuccessfully and all the other different conditions? You might have five or six different conditions. But when you say want to add a, create an event, you need to be logged in to do that. You might have one event test that checks that you do log in and then you go create the event. But when you start doing all the other boundary tests around the event, you can always mock out the login because you don't need to retest that you can log in every single time because if it's a real login, it, take, it takes time to do it. So there are performance improvements that can be made uh, as and when they need to be. Code coverage. You get to see what you've missed, which is always, I find, a lot more. Especially with the boundary conditions, you think you've covered everything and you realise that, that you haven't. So what I find with using it with Cucumber, I think it's really good. You can use it as documentation. You can see what kind of features you've got because it's written in plain English. Features of Cypress. I did say I love open source and the first point I put had to be open source. I really believe that every project is for a client or for my own personal project or side projects or startup, that I always think, why should it be closed source? For me, open source is like the default. So that's why that's first. You get the history as it runs through the test, you can go back through the, the steps and uh, Andrew will show you actual uh, practical example of this and you can see how it was before that step ran. So if there is an error, you can see well, what happened before. And also take screenshots and videos. Yes, you'll see the browser running and driving on your, on your laptop, but if you have it running headless on CI you don't, and it fails, you won't actually see what the failure is. So if you save those artifacts on your CI, then you can see a screenshot or you can actually see a video of the test running as if it was running on your computer and you can see uh, how and why it failed. And time travel. So who here hates testing dates? I do. Like, say if you say had, show me the last, I don't know, the most recent 10, whatever it is, transactions, if you're thinking about a bank account, then if you've got mock data and you've got the date from a month ago when you did, when you wrote that test, then new data might supersede it as being created as part of the other tests. So therefore, with time travel, you can manipulate the actual the date and time. So it can look like the most recent. Has anyone here used Faker or anything like that? Nice, nice. So Faker, for the ones not familiar, I really enjoy using that. It creates mock data for you. So it's not, so it's a bit more realistic. Rather than me saying, OK, I need to put in an address, I'm going to use uh, address line one for the first entry, address line two for the second entry, and it's the same every time. With Faker, it can create names, it can create emails, it can create addresses. On one of our Code Combat live streams, Andrew and me did last week, uh, on the, I think the fourth or fifth edition of the Code Combat, I introduced Faker into my automated tests to see if in two hours I could get that set up and working, and it was creating that, that data. So yeah, Faker is a really good one, definitely look into it. I don't think we're going to cover that today, but if anyone wants to see that in the future, we can, that's something we can dig into deeper. Features of Cucumber. So I really like the idea that it bridges the gap and, and, and encourages collaboration between the core team members and also the wider team. It just brings everyone closer together because, I mean, we worked at one place, Andrew and myself on a previous client, where we actually had it where the, the client, the product owner or the business analyst, a change to a test and then they would raise a PR, all using the uh, GitHub UI, so for a non-technical person. And they wanted, for example, after you logged in, they wanted it to go to a different page. When you logged in at the moment, it went to your accounts page, but they actually wanted to go to the dashboard page. So they could go look at the Cucumber test, and I've got an example coming up, and they could say, um, you know, go to the, uh, the dashboard page after logging in. And they raised a PR, and obviously it failed because that's not what happened in the code. 
And we could see that the PR had failed. We could look why it failed, and we see they've updated the test. And that way, we could fix the code, or say fix the code, update the code. The PR are passed, and when they're ready, they could accept it and merge it, and it deployed straight to production. So that way, I'm not saying don't have those conversations, but you're having the conversations about the important, more interesting stuff, not about I want to navigate to a different page. You know, that's kind of boring. Why have a, a discussion over that? So I really like the idea how it bridges it all together. And again, it's, it's living documentation. It, it saves having to write a lot of documentation. And I can't say this word. Can anyone say this word for me, please? Ubiquitous. Is that correct? OK, cool. Um, so it's having the same terminology, having everyone speaking using the same words rather than the terminology having five or six different words. And sometimes it means something different. Uh, I've had ones, I mean, just off the top of my head, think of examples where people said, it's the project page, or it's the dashboard page, or it's the project dashboard page. And they're all the same thing, and it's, it's a bit confusing, especially onboarding new people. We install Cypress. And when you open Cypress, it will create the relevant folders that you need with some test examples in there. So you can delete those. And also, it puts it into a Cypress folder, which some people like to rename. I know I like to rename it to test. And then there is config, you can rename it. And the, rec the first thing I recommend doing is saying running all specs, just make sure it runs and it's downloaded properly. Installing Cucumber, a little bit more work on this. So again, it's an NPM install and it's a, it's a safe dev and it's um, a Cypress plugin. But then in uh, the Cypress plugins index file, you just need to add these two lines, dead simple. And then third step in cypress.json, which will be in the root, which will all be created for you. You add this, because this is what we're going to use for our feature files. And then your package JSON, add that. And I've squished it onto one line just uh, for the slide. This is what a Cucumber test looks like. And the great thing is, who here has heard of page object models? Page object models allows you to abstract uh, your, co your tests from the page. So if something changes on the page, and you've got five or six tests testing that page, it allows you just to change it in one location, updates it all. That's actually not needed, because you've got Cucumber as your abstraction. So it's no longer, you could use it if you really wanted that extra abstraction, but it's probably not needed. So this is the feature file. So this might be contact form dot feature. And this bit at the top is just an English description. But the important part is this. So given, it's given when, then, and then you can add to any step and and. The given is kind of what you want to have starting the test. So given contact page is open. Therefore, anyone can reuse this line and say given the home page, dashboard page, or whatever it is. And so you get a lot of reuse out of these, out of these lines. And then it's your next step. So it's the, uh, it's the action. So when the name uh, input field is set to code mortals. So the name, and Andrew's going to show you a real demo of this. This is me just kind of giving a bit of intro to it. So it will set the input field. And you actually see that in your browser, on your computer. If you're not running it headless, you'll see uh, the input field name is set to code mortals. And you can do and for your email, and for you're just duplicating this line. But we're not, without the when, you're just going to use and. And then at the end of that, you might say, and the send button is clicked. And again, this can be changed for cancel. It can be changed for whatever you want. Then the message sent text is displayed. And you could be specific. You could have a line that has optional CSS selector. So you could be specific about where it appears on the page if you want. Or you could have it check the whole page just to say it appears. The more specific you are, the more accurate your test would be, but the more fragile it will be. So it's having that, that balance. Now everyone knows what Cypress is, everyone knows what Cucumber is. You think it's amazing, right? And you're gonna start using it?